the discussions about the relationship between investment growth and productivity in advanced economies have indeed been illuminating and thought-provoking and will continue having a conversation on these issues. If we want to have extended growth in the medium term, we have to begin to look at the factors that cause growth. Innovation, training and skills for workers, capital investment, uh, and in particular, uh, reform is needed uh, in, in different economies. What can we do uh, as central banks to support uh, a belated recovery in investment, recognizing that uh, other policies will be much, much uh, more important? Our investment affecting productivity affects TFP. And so the two things are not disconnected. We focus now on sustainable growth and productivity and that's due to the fact that actually most uh, economies have recovered from a very long recession. So now we start focusing really on sustainable and inclusive growth. We are going to create new occupations that we don't even dream about. We know that research and development has tremendous public and uh, private gains. So um, that suggests that there's not enough investment in that. So I think um, uh, subsidies for these types of investments can help uh, create sustainable growth. I have now the pleasure to announce the winner of the prize for the best paper in the Young Economist poster session. It is Ms. Venkiam Wawung. Please. Education is a key. As an employer in technology, uh, we find that there's a shortage of people trained in software development and data science. These really are careers of the future and they have exciting applications in a really wide variety of industries. 